If you're looking for the best subwoofers, here's a list you must see. We made this list based on our personal preference and sorted it based on their features, prices, quality, durability, and reputation of the manufacturers and customer feedback. Also, we have included options for every type of customer. So let's get started. At the 10th position of our list, we have Kicker 8-inch 300 watt. Kicker has a great reputation for its excellent speakers made with top quality components that are always affordably priced and that's exactly what this sub is. It's a versatile sub that could just as easily act as a replacement for a broken sub or be your first subwoofer to power your system. The 8-inch design means that it can be incorporated just as easily inside sealed enclosures or vented enclosures. In terms of watts, it delivers 300 watt RMS power as well as a peak watt output of 600 watt. We love the design of this speaker. The 4 ohm voice coil and magnet structure make it perform effortlessly. It also helps to contribute to the warm, booming bass that it delivers and which we loved a lot. Moving on to the next at number 9 with Alpine SWR 12D2 Type RZ. Alpine is a naked subwoofer which means that it comes without an enclosure. So you'll either need to purchase an enclosure separately or you can make one yourself. With a 12 inch diameter, this speaker will certainly get your seats rumbling thanks to the big bass that it delivers. Looking for bigger subs? Check out these 18 inch subwoofers. The cone is composed of a pulp that has been treated with Kevlar for extra stiffness and durability. The exterior is formed with trademark Santropine. It sits in a progressive cone spider cast aluminum frame mount. The dual 2 ohm voice coils are oversized, high temperature, and altogether great quality. This product delivers a great low frequency response of between 24 and 200 kHz, making it perfect for big bass pulsations. The RMS power is 500 watt per coil, while its peak power goes up to 3000 watt. It's also sensitive to 84.7 decibels. In terms of mount depth, then it is 6 to 3 by 8 inches, while the cutout diameter is 10 to 7 by 8 inches. If you purchase this item, then you may want to consider a reflex system enclosure, as users of this car audio subwoofer tend to believe that this enclosure performs better than a solid, sealed one. The number 8 position is held by Pioneer TSWX 1010A. This Class D speaker from Pioneer is capable of 300 watt of RMS output and 1100 watt of peak power. It has high sensitivity woofers that work best when put inside small enclosures, which makes this speaker a good safe saving choice. Let's have a look at some other great features that it offers. It has a variable bass boost of 0 to 12 decibels or 40 Hz to 100 Hz. This provides you with much greater sound control. You can adjust the input gain using the bass remote or the input gain control, which you can find on the side panel of the enclosure. The design of this subwoofer is excellent in our opinion. The trapezoid shape is highly rigid, increasing the flexibility of installation. Speaking of flexibility, you can install it in the cabin, in the rear, front, or under the seats. It doesn't matter where, as this subwoofer is durable enough and compact enough to go just about anywhere you might want it to be. Next at number 7, we have Pioneer TSSW 2500-2S4. Next up is a 10-inch shallow mount sub from Pioneer. It features a mica-injected resin cone structure that increases the surface area, allowing for a more effective performance for the size. It's certainly a powerful speaker, but it doesn't just deliver volume. It also offers a broad frequency range of between 10 kHz and 125 kHz, which means that you'll be able to hear a huge range on low-end frequencies. It's also a very versatile speaker due to its top mount depth being just 3 1 by 8 inches, so you can fit it just about anywhere in your car. The combination of its small size, big volume, and reasonable price makes it a superb choice for bass fans. Pioneer is one of the world's most popular brands for car audio equipment for a reason. It always offers great value and high performance. That's what this sub offers too. We love how powerful it is considering its shallow depth. It's great for drivers who want big bass but also don't want too much space being used up by the sub. The number 6 position is held by Dual Electronics BP1204. This system features a pair of high performance subs that deliver studio level sound quality. Each speaker has a 12 inch diameter and together they're capable of delivering a whopping 1100 watt of peak power. 
That means that you get an RMS power of 600 watt and a 4 ohm impedance level. They also deliver increased output capabilities which is thanks to the specialized tune port integrated into them which includes 2.5 voice coils and cones that have been brushed with aluminum. It isn't just the speakers that are high grade. Their enclosure is made from high grade extra strength MDF. It's also been carpeted to improve the sound quality as you won't get any unwanted rattling. The enclosure also features a pixie glass window so that you can see the ventilated control circuitry inside them. We think that this looks great. It's a shame most drivers will need to hide them away in the trunk of the car. Then again, it's more important that you listen to these powerful speakers rather than look at them. The number 5 position is dominated by MTX Audio 5512 44 5500. This one is another 12 inch bass speaker from MTX Audio. This time however, you just get the speaker component so that you can install it where and how you wish. It's got a dual 4 ohm woofer and also features MTX's spider plateau venting to keep the speaker cool and free from distortion when used at loud volumes. The venting keeps warm air away from the voice coil which is essential for ensuring that the speaker keeps performing to the best of its ability. It features an inverted apex surround that is narrower than a typical road surround. This creates a larger surface area for the cone and means that the speaker can displace more air. It's certainly thoughtfully designed. The heatsink system means that the speaker absorbs heat from the voice coil and then sends it out via the backplate allowing for a very efficient cooling system. The key though to why this speaker is so highly rated by our team is the sound quality. It is up there with the best subs and when the price is taken into account, we think this is a great value pick. Moving on to the next at number 4 with OSD Audio OM Sub 200 Omni 360 degree outdoor subwoofer. The OM SU200 is designed to work in tandem with OSD's other speakers and subwoofers and when paired with the RSUB300 can help to create an incredibly atmospheric bass presentation. While the bass depth and quality isn't quite up to par with the RSUB300, once buried, it does help create a very pleasant rumbling sensation and if placed properly can really enhance the outdoor audio experience. Most indoor space benefits from LF resonance that is created when omnidirectional low frequencies bounce around a sealed indoor space creating the sensation of more LF than is actually being put out. This is hard to achieve outdoors given that open space causes bass waves to disperse more quickly. But with an OM sub 200 buried beneath your seating area and preferably an RSUB 300 or 2 in the surrounding area, you can more closely recreate the tactile experience of indoor system. It won't do you much good on its own. But in concert with a full system and a more typical outdoor subwoofer, it can definitely help to create the last inch of realism that is missing from many outdoor systems. The number 3 position is held by JBL powered subwoofer. The ES250P is the perfect subwoofer for a medium sized home theater or den. It's affordable, looks good and sounds like most people expect a subwoofer to sound. It has a 12 inch downward firing woofer, puts out plenty of tight, deep bass that leans slightly forward the mid bass rather than the deepest notes but does reach into sub bass while remaining fairly tight meaning that rap, pop and electronic music will get plenty of oomph but won't wake the neighbors awake as long as the volume is kept at reasonable levels. Comparable models from Bose or Klish like the SW100 focus more on mid bass and tend to sound overly loud and a bit boomier. Make no mistake, the JBL can rattle walls and will if you crank the volume, but it can also be kept relatively tame. Please keep in mind that this is an entry level subwoofer. If you are expecting genuine room lock on anything bigger than an average bedroom or want to use it outdoors, you should expect to spend more money. Some users have reported blown fuses when the unit is pushed to its limits, but JBL has reportedly included a higher quality resistor in newer units. So defects shouldn't be a problem as long as you're buying new. At the price, this is a great subwoofer and as long as you don't push it to its limits constantly, you should be very satisfied with its performance. Next at number 2, we have Sonos Sub Wireless Subwoofer. Sonos is a brand that markets primarily on convenience and their products do exactly what they advertise. 
which is to produce very reasonable sound quality with an extremely easy wireless setup. While most wireless systems involve a bit of tinkering to get up and running, Sonos' system is as simple as they come and anyone with a bit of electronic know-how should be able to get the Sonos sub up and running without much fuss. The Sonos bridge connects to a Wi-Fi router to transmit signal throughout your home and the sub just needs to be plugged in and added via your controller of choice, typically a smartphone with the Sonos controller app. Once connected, the Sonos Sub offers 6 levels of bass response which can be customized based on your room size and personal preference. While the minus 3 level offers suitable response for a smaller den or master bedroom, the plus 3 setting will rattle walls and windows in anything less than a large home theater or open floor plan living room. It's not true hi-fi bass. Those who have owned $500 plus subwoofers in the past will notice that the deepest sub bass notes below 30Hz are missing beginning to run out of steam at around 45Hz and most of the emphasis comes in above 80Hz making the Sonos Sub a bit subby in its base presentation but those who don't have experience with serious hi-fi components will doubtless be awed with the great response offered by the Sonos Sub. Anyone with a decent budget looking for a solid sound quality and the possibility of expanding their new system into multiple rooms without the hassle of tearing down drywalls should definitely consider the Sonos Sub and its matching components. In fact, given that a compromise in sound quality is inherent in all wireless audio tech, the Sonos Sub may just be the smartest choice of all. It is not the best sounding of the lot, but it is the easiest to use, has by far the most features including adjustable bass response and integrates easily with a relatively affordable, fully wireless system that can be dispersed throughout an apartment or even medium-sized house and controlled from a smartphone to boot. Finally. The number one position is dominated by BIC America front firing powered subwoofer. Let's get one thing out of the way. This is the lowest quality unit on this list. It will distort noticeably if it is pushed and gets muddy below 50 Hz. In fact, it is just above the kind of quality one can expect from a home theater in a box or standard 2.1 computer speaker system. But if you're ready to build your own system, this is a fine place to start as long as you aren't expecting more than you're paying for. There is no adjustable crossover, digital EQ or fancy wood finish. But the SW012 puts out plenty of bass for a smaller theater or decent sized bedroom and will rattle wood floors when cranked up. It doesn't really produce much below 40 Hz, so it isn't capable of producing room lock without the help of another, more capable woofer, but what it does, it does fairly well. If you want your own genuine surround sound system, but aren't picky and just want the subwoofer, the SW012 will do fine. That's all for today. We upload product review videos every single day. So don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell button for the upcoming video notification.